The idea of creating a museum in Vatka arose from local masters of art at the very end of the 19th century. The initiators were the brothers Viktor Mikhailovich and Apolinar Mikhailovich Vasnetsov. They offered to arrange their works and art gallery in Vyatka and transfer their works to it, as well as assist uh, the acquisition of works by other masters of art. On the 5th of December in 1910, the grand opening of Vyatka Art and Historic Museum took place, which became the first museum of this kind in the entire of north and northeast of Russia. Only in 1989, a museum, which previously bore the name of Gorky, was given the name of our illustrious countryman Viktor Mikhailovich and Apolinari Mikhailovich Vasnetsov. Apolinari Vasnetsov paintings are kept in various specifics, art and historical, because they belong both to art and science. His paintings can also be found on our Vyatka Art Museum, named after Viktor and Apolinari Vasnetsovs. Apolinari Vasnetsov is the younger brother of the famous painter Viktor Vasnetsov, an artist and a scientist, a historian and a poet of Russian nature. Studying history and archaeology, he chose native land as one of the main themes of his works. Apolinari was born in a small house in the village of Ryabova, Vyatka province, on the 25th of July in 1856. His father was a priest and an enlightenment man who was interested in natural sciences and astronomy, painting new and loved nature. After graduating from the Theological College in 1872, Apollinari went to St. Petersburg at Victor's insistence. There he met Rapin, Polenov and other artists. In 1878, he went to Moscow to his brother and then fully devoted himself to art. Vasnetsov traveled a lot, both in Russia and abroad. Though he painted the landscape Twilight Wheat in Paris, he depicted the lovely northern nature, referring to sketches that he had brought from a trip to the northern Urals. As artists recalled, the character of the Urals, it reminds me very much of, of Vatka land, the coniferous forests, ridges, only natural dimensions. When we were viewing the permanent collection of the museum, this painting attracted our attention the most. The northern landscape depicted in its strikes with its originality, grandiosity and the harsh power of nature. This picture is very realistic. It's as if you feel the gusts of wind. You want to hide quickly from the impending bad weather. The anxious mood created by the artist is transmitted. You can look at the details of the painting for a long time and try to unravel the deep meaning laid down in this work by the artist. The traveler and the chapel are a metaphor for the wandering soul in the world of anxiety and an attempt to find peace. Let's pay attention with what skill the sky depicted. In the landscape, Vesnitsov attached a great importance to the sky in the clouds. He believed that clouds are as an important and a cruel element of nature as meadows, forests, rivers and seas. And Vesnitsov, thanks to hard work, achieved results of painting clouds. An impregnable wall rises over a dark forest, covering the space of the canvas. Birds are rushing over it anxiously. Heavy clouds are hanging low over the earth. Sharp gusts of wind mercilessly are bending small trees along the rain-washed road. Both the composition and the restrained colors create a sense of the harsh and majestic northern nature. Thank you for your attention and we invite you to visit Vyarka Art Museum.